Okay guys, back with another electrical fix. This is a GFCI from Eaton. Uh, I'm replacing this GFCI outlet. The one's over here. So replacing that baby. All right, so you know what to do first. Flip the switch so that everything goes out. All right, everything's out. Got my little light here. Boom, let's do it. First thing first, uh, obviously the LED is out, but we always wanna make sure and check that there aren't any kind of power going on. So I'm using this Klein tool once more, just checking everything. Yep, plug this in, see if there's any power going through it. Nope, nothing. So again, I uh, totally recommend you guys getting these Klein tools if you're gonna mess around with electrical outlets. Um, and this is a um, GFIC tester, so it'll, it'll give you a bunch of different indicator on the lights here, and it'll tell you if your receptacle is good or not. Yeah, anyway, electric, electrician recommended these tools, so I am using it. So let's go ahead and remove the face plates. These projects right here are, are super easy, um, but you know, before I own a home, obviously I didn't really do a lot of these projects, but after I own a home, it was a lot easier to do these um, because, well, I kind of had to. Yeah. So once you remove the face plates, make sure that you test one, once more with the internals here to make sure that, you know, there's no, there's nothing that's, that's beeping on you. If it is, um, you probably want to step away okay so that's good there electricity is out so let's go ahead and keep doing this maybe I should move this over here what do y'all think and then move this over here yeah so yeah you just remove these two screws right here they're, they're super easy to do uh, but they can be really tough because um, the way the screw is in the box sometimes is wedged in there. All right, so once again, I'm pulling this out right here, but I do want to test it just one more time just to be safe with this tool. Just testing all the wires to make sure that it's not beeping on me in any way. All right. So let's go ahead and pull that. So the first thing that I usually do is, um, let's go ahead and open this up. So this, this one right here has a little light on it, uh, a little night light is what they call it. It's pretty interesting, so I went ahead and got it since the garage is always dark in here. Um, it's kind of nice to just have a light. So what I usually do is, I usually just match all the holes up with the old holes so that I'm not doing any guessing work, you know what I'm saying? But if you really read this, um, one side it says hot and the other side is uh, it says white. Yeah, I know. One side says hot, the other side says white. Meaning that this side right here, you, you put it in all white. This side over here, when it says hot, that means it's, uh, for my case at least, it's black. It's the black wires. So that's what I know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and match this up in, in this way. And so all the white will go over on the white side over here, just like that. Yeah, literally that's all that I'm doing is I'm matching the wires up. Just making sure that I get the correct ones way in there. Um, so this one right here says it's at the bottom. So I'm pushing that to the bottom. Then I'm locking that in. I'm not sure if this is the most effective way, but this is the way that I know how to do it. 
so that I'm not doing a lot of guessing work because I'm not an electrician, you know what I'm saying? So here is the black one that goes on top. Go ahead and plug that black one on top in. Then the bottom one goes into the bottom holes and locking that baby in. No guessing work there. And then this thing right here goes to the bottom hole. Go ahead and take that out. Pop it into the bottom holes. And I'm gonna lock this baby in. Okay. And then last but not least is this little ground wire here. So let's go ahead and remove this. <clears throat> And then at the bottom of this thing, it should be one last hole. To put in. So, white goes to white, black goes to black, um, and if I look back here, that's what the label says too. White over there, black over here, ground wire and down there. Okay, that's all I need. All I do is just try and now tuck this thing in. This is the hard part right here, because these, these wirings are really hard. So that's kind of how I take the guesswork out of this right here. I just make sure that I match the exact replica of the old um, wiring. Now, if I need anything more complicated than that, I probably need to call an electrician. But changing these things out are not hard at all. I actually had an electrician out here and I asked him to change these out and he was trying to avoid doing it and so I was so upset that I had to figure it out on my own. What I like to do is I like to go ahead and put the plate on because I really do not want to touch this thing when the power turns on at all. You know I don't know why like the face plates uses um, the non Phillips one you know what I'm saying the flat head it uses a flat head which is so interesting to me. I don't know why they do that. There you have it. I'm missing my other screw. There we go. Okay, so this thing that I bought should have a little night light uh, that turns on automatically. And GFIC is where if it detects a little curtain in your uh, wiring like some kind of short it would just go ahead and flip the switch and then shut everything off that's uh in your house you need you need a few of these actually so one would be like in all in the wet area so there'll be one box for that this box is for the garage and for all the outside port so if the outside port gets wet this thing will trip it'll shut all the outside port including this one off so um, let's go ahead and uh, turn it on and see if it works and this is the switch right here boom and there you have it okay let's go ahead and plug this little baby in Nothing. So that's the button right there that to trip it. So right now, if it's night, it should turn on. If there's light, it won't. And there you have it. Now it's on. 
this cover, this the light, and you can see that it's on. Got ourselves a little night light. Very nice. So anyway, what this thing does is that it, it will trip the, the thing for me. See that? When I press that, it trips the GFIC for me. And I turn it back on. Boom. All right. This is good.